After a seven-hour meeting, all except three ministers of far-right Jewish Power Party, the Israeli War Cabinet voted in favor of a deal with Hamas. The deal, a four-day ceasefire and release of 150 Palestinian prisoners, mostly women and minors, in exchange for 50 hostages taken by Hamas on 7th October, including over 30 children. But PM Netanyahu has made it clear the war will continue. Yes, Bakhuts, the boy, heaven. כאילו אחרי ההפגה להשובת, ההפוגה להשובת חצופנו, אנחנו נפסיק את המלחמה. אז אני מבקש להבהיר, אנחנו במלחמה, ונמשיך במלחמה. נמשיך במלחמה עד שנשיג את כל היעדים שלנו. לחסל את החמאס, להשיב את כל חטופינו ונעדרינו, ולהבטיח שבעזה... The deal also allows more than 300 desperately needed aid trucks to cross into Gaza. According to Netanyahu's terms, after the four days of ceasefire, there will be one day ceasefire for every 10 Israeli hostages released by Hamas. Also, Israel will release up to another 150 Palestinian detainees if Hamas releases another 50. The deal negotiated by the US, Qatar and Egypt has been welcomed as a step in the right direction after six weeks of fighting. US President Joe Biden welcomed the deal on X, while US Secretary of State Antony Blinken and the Qatar PM thanked each other and Egypt for brokering the deal. As the process to execute the deal starts, Israel's Justice Department has published 300 names of Palestinian prisoners being held in Israeli jails. As per the law, ahead of any prisoner release, Israeli citizens must be allowed to make an appeal to the Israeli Supreme Court. But no major hold-ups are expected, given there have been massive marches and protests to bring back the hostages. In Delhi, Kadambini Sharma for NDTV.